What is going on guys, it's MKC Technology here, also known as MKC Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why you haven't received the Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 17035 and some of the updates that are coming to Build 17035. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. Now, the reason why you haven't received uh, the Windows 10 preview build 17035 is because Microsoft went on to say today that they are releasing the Windows 10 Insider preview build 17035 for PCs to the Windows 10 Insider program and, and in the fast ring and for those who are opted to skip ahead to the next build of uh, Windows 10 and they also went on to say that due to a bug that causes PCs with AMD processors to bug check during upgrading to the current build they are blocking any PC with an AMD processor from receiving this build and they are in investigating and working to fix so that they can remove this block um so basically any processor with an amd or any computer with an amd processor or amd apu cannot receive this update due to the fact that uh the processors keep bug checking or the computer keeps a bug checking uh, for something I don't know what it keeps doing or basically you're going you're going to a blue screen every time you try every time you are on the update or something that's what I'm basically um, thinking that they're saying uh, so uh, let's actually go to what updates are coming to build 17035 so it looks like the start menu is getting a facelift um, or actually the start menu isn't getting any new features or visual changes but uh, starting with build 17035 you'll notice that the windows that windows 10 now pins file explorer picture pictures music and documents by default in the left rail of the menu so that's something new Cortana gets a facelift so if your device has a default location configured Cortana can now show you location based reminders nearby your computer Cortana collections if Cortana collections is a new feature introduced with build 17017 that automatically groups links from websites you visited into nearby organized list and in 17035 the experience now supports the light theme so Cortana now gets a app and you can actually use the app now it doesn't actually work fully in 17035 I've seen a video about it not working properly in 17035 so uh, I think another update has to come out within 17035 for it to work properly the action center actually gets a update and I actually know what this update is so basically let me, let me open up my action center real quick now as you see here around the edges of the edit like any button on the action center it actually lights up a little bit so now within 17035 whenever you hover your mouse around the edges of the any of any button uh, inside the action center it actually illuminates like a little light around the little button so that's uh what feature that comes in with the new 17035 and it actually does it for any notification within the 17 any notification that happens inside the action bar within 17035 so and that actually 
uh, that actually like that feature is called reveal highlight which is an element or of fluent fluent design if you don't know what fluent design is just go ahead and look up the, any video that windows central has uh, uploaded on youtube within the past month or so so just go ahead and check that out um so of fluent design that adds illumination as you navigate elements to uh navigate elements to display hidden borders and brings a new form of interaction to the action center so that's something new that just came out near share if you don't so near share is something that uses any bluetooth or wi-fi signal to send files wirelessly to any computer or a device on your network or that is connected to your bluetooth device so say i have a div um a file of one megabyte i can send that to any phone or uh, windows pc or windows tablet or like android uh android device over wi-fi or bluetooth and, and that has to be the the device the device has to be nearby my computer and has to be connected to wi my Wi-Fi in order to send it through Wi-Fi or connect or connected to my Bluetooth on my computer so that you can so, so that I can send it send the file to uh, the device via Bluetooth, which is something that I don't see we need due to the fact that we can already send stuff through Bluetooth, but I guess they wanted to update it more, but uh, input uh, touch keyboard, which is something we already have, or I'm guessing they're adding uh, uh, the, uh, an illumination to the bu to the buttons within the touch keyboard, or they're adding something different within the touch keyboard. So I don't really know, and I don't feel like I don't really feel like reading up about that. Handwriting, we already been had hardware keyboard. We don't have to worry about that. Settings, um, so, oh yeah, settings is getting a, another facelift or some more features within the uh, settings itself. So we can actually disable uh, reveal highlight on certain or on certain buttons within uh, the notification center or uh, action center, if you want to call it that. And we can actually now remove certain buttons or any of these buttons within the action center and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and comment down below and all the links to my social media are in the description box down below and with that being said it's mkc technology also known as mkc gaming i'm out peace Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.